Hi there guys, what's up? It's me again, I'm back again and I'm here with another short video. I had a comment on the most recent video from a guy that was suffering from a couple of issues with this saber he purchased online, where he was putting his blade in and the blade wasn't lighting up in any way, shape or form. So I just thought I'd go through a couple of the things that can cause this issue and a couple of ways you can troubleshoot them at home and just give you my best advice. So the components inside this saber, and this is my property from Padawan Outpost, is you have a commutator in the emitter with data pins, which that completely has to connect flush to the commutator inside the NeoPixel blade. If there is an improper connection, it will not light the blade up, or it will, but it'll be very dim or it will flicker not intentionally flick it, it will go on and off repeatedly. So if I switch that on, you know it's on, it works. So if I put the blade in, as you can see, that's an improper connection. So if I just push this down, you'll see the blade is on properly. It does all of its effects and so on. That one's quite common in these sabers. I've had that issue multiple times. Best way is always just to check that your blade is fitted properly. The other issue that can happen is, especially in Obi-Wan's and Luke Skywalker sabers or stuff like that, ones with thin necks, is there's quite a lot of wiring in the neck piece of the saber. So if you knock this, you could potentially damage your wiring, which means there is no data feeding through to the commutator. If you're, you know, competent with wiring and soldering and stuff like this, you know, you could fix this problem at home. But my best advice is if you notice that you've got damage in your wiring, I would recommend contacting the company immediately to try get them to resolve this and troubleshoot it for you. So as we get down to the handle part of the saber, this is where your chassis lies. This is where your soundboard is, your battery and your SD card. Now, these are three things you don't really want to damage or you will pray that aren't damaged on a rival of your saber. So the battery, if that damages, that could potentially fry your soundboard, which would leave you with a dead saber. So I would, like these sabers, they all come with pretty decent standard batteries, but I would recommend buying some higher tier batteries. So they're a bit expensive, you know, you're looking at about 20, 25 pounds, but they're worth the money. You know, it's an easy fix. If you start to hear fizzling or smelling a weird smell from your saber, check your battery immediately, make sure it's not cracked and it's leaking or it's not overheating and due to go bang. The other issue that can happen is you could have a corrupted SD card or a damaged SD card. Now, I would highly recommend when your sabers arrive from wherever you've ordered them from is plug the SD card straight into your computer and back up the SD card right away. Because all of these sabers, especially the ones that I buy from like Padawan Outpost and Saber Ferry, is they all come pre-built with sound fonts from Kaiser Sabers and Kyber Phonics. Now, if you lose these, they're lost for good. They do not have those sound fonts for free on their website like they come pre-built in your saber you will have to purchase them and they will run you around $12 well between 10 and $12 so I would highly recommend backing up your SD card because if you damage it or you correct it and you've got all your files on your computer you can buy a brand new SD card pop them on there stick them back into your saber and SD card you're looking at maybe four pounds cheap as anything now when it comes to your soundboard if you damage that or that breaks you are kind of screwed especially if you've got a saber in the Profi or GHP3 configuration because those are quite hard to come by these days due to shortages and COVID still impacting production lines. So I would always highly recommend if you have any issues at all with your saber where it comes to functions or just it not working properly is contact the company who you bought it from immediately and try to see if they can troubleshoot it if it's an issue that can be fixed or if you will have to return and refund or replace. I would never recommend trying to take apart these sabers and fix them themselves unless you really know what you're doing because you may damage your saber forever and because you've gone and fiddled with it yourself is the companies are very unlikely to refund or replace that saber now because they can quantify the damage down to you. I hope this video was helpful and somewhat coherent for you guys. I just thought I'd give a bit of advice and go through a couple of the issues that can occur from these sabers. And these issues can occur from a multitude of reasons where there could have been a fault in production that was just missed and these things happen. You know, humans aren't infallible. It could have been damaged during shipping. You know, delivery drivers and carriers are very hand-fisted. Or, you know, it could have been damaged by yourself at home, whether joining with it swinging it around or dropping it or just genuinely just happen from you not looking after it that well 
but yeah, I would always contact the companies if you have any issues with your saber, you know. So if you like this video, so if you like this video, please feel free to like and subscribe, you know, leave me a comment if you guys have any more issues with your sabers, I'll be happy to help within the bounds of my knowledge. And leave me a comment, let me know how you feel about the new setup and you know, I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,